Hi Cancers, welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Let's go into your reading for this month. Uh, the first thing that I want to emphasize here is um, we do have a Mercury retrograde cycle. And needless to say, whenever Mercury, the planet, uh, planet of communication, is uh, going in the reverse, is retrograding, it basically means that plans are going to be stalled, okay? Things that you're planning on, a specific deadline, specific time frame, uh, specific things going in a specific way, it's, uh, it's going to throw a little bit of a wrench in the work. So anticipate detours, anticipate delays, anticipate uh, things not going exactly the way that you want. It doesn't always mean it's going to be bad. It's just not going to be exactly the way you want. But sometimes it can also be better than what you anticipated or what you could expect. Okay. So I feel there are things here, projects, um, uh, funding for some of you and, um, plans and, and overall just, you know, a lot of activities that are going to be a little bit stalled. And I also feel you're going to feel almost like, you know, a turtle or a crab that's kind of flipped over where your legs are not able to be f firmly planted. You're not able to get your bearing. You're going to feel a little bit disoriented. There's also a lot of traveling that I'm seeing for many of you. So you're going to feel that physical and emotional displacement where you're in a different environment, time zone differences, time conversions, as well as misunderstandings when it comes to, you know, cross-cultural communication and things like that. So anticipate these things and you know uh, just know to be patient okay it's going to last for the majority of um, April and we're also going to be dealing with that shadow period towards the end of April so just anticipate and just you know roll with the punches be flexible get things done in a timely manner whenever you find downtime it's a good time for you to switch gears and get things done get other projects started okay and um you know just basically be flexible so what are some of the mess messages that i am seeing for you guys the first message that i feel here it says the trickle down effects is definitely working and there are some really good news that is going to be coming through when it comes to your career sector, okay? And what I see happening is this fountain, um, it's like, you know how they stack up those uh, champagne glasses and then it, they stack it up into a pyramid and whoever, you know, is pouring the champagne bottle, it, it pours from the first cup and then it trickles down to all the, the other cups and then all the bottom cups get filled up and then the next rung gets filled up, the next level, and so on and so forth. So I'm seeing this trickle-down effect where things are really benefiting everybody. Things are working out in everybody's favor. And I feel like it's um, it's like the, the desired outcome, okay? So it's looking really, really good. The second message that I am seeing here is... Um, they're saying expansion in birth and finance. So that is coming through in your work sector and also your career sector. So expansion in birth and finance. So that's a really um, cool message actually, because I know you guys are, have been really, really concerned about your financial prosperity um, for the past few years. And this is the, the, the year where I feel like, you know, hard work is paying off, okay? Um, the third message that I am seeing here is, um, it, it's, it's almost like being weary. And I don't like to, to repeat these messages in, in this way, but I, I feel like you also need to understand that, you know, um, there are people that are self-serving. They're going to do the minimal amount of work to scrape by and they're going to ride other people's coattails. Okay, so you want to be, I, I want to say like cogniz cognizant of that and you want to be aware of that. And if you can spot these people, it's really important that you don't let them, you know, um, reap the material wealth that you've worked really, really, really hard for. So I would say the, the message here is not to be weary about, you know, opportunists, but like spot them. Okay, spot opportunists. And that message also takes us to the next one, which basically means spot opportunities, 
okay opportunities for you to basically expand outwards for you to um uh, allow things to trickle out further for you to expand your empire a little bit more. So I have those four messages. Let me just go through them one by one. Uh, what I'm feeling for you guys here when it says trickle down, many of you have uh, really taken it upon yourself to really incorporate a lot of people into plans, into projects. You're starting some type of a populist movement. You're riling people up. You're getting people's backing. You're getting people's support. And you're kind of like taking charge in a situation to uh, bring everybody together in some capacity. It could be an, an event. It could be a talk. It could be like a seminar, a conference, something where many many people from many many different parts of the world or even you know from different industries from different communities from uh from different walks of life are coming together and i feel like it's not something that is done overnight there has been a lot of stalled energy there has been a lot of hard work a lot of dedication a lot of tears shed a lot of sweat and tears and finally it's culminating and it's coming together and it's coming together in a way where it is definitely a sharing, an exchange of knowledge, a sharing, an exchange of best practices, a sharing and, a, and an exchange of um, different experiences. So it's a really, really wonderful gathering that's happening. And I'm also sensing for many of you, you know, uh, people that say they're supposed to chip in, they're nowhere to be found. And this was particularly difficult for you guys, mainly because I feel for many of you, you are the man or the woman of your words. When you say you're going to do something, you don't want to leave people high and dry. Um, you want to be, you know, seen in a responsible, in a favorable manner. And so when people give you their word, you're like, okay, I've got it. I trust you. And then at the last minute, they don't show up, right? So what is this about? Like, what is this experience teaching you? It's teaching you to, more than anything, be the man or the woman of your words. It's teaching you what not to do and how not to burn bridges with other people. And it's also teaching you, you know, who those people are. So th those opportunists, those people that just, you know frivolously give away their word and then they don't stand by their word or they say they're going to do things and then flick out the last minute and leave people stranded without consideration for you or consideration for all the hard work that comes that is involved in getting things off the ground so it's important to i i, I almost feel like it needed to happen so that you can uh not partner up with them in the future so you know it, it's like it needed to happen right now when the project is small later on when the project is bigger and you get involved with them it's going to be a bigger disappointment a bigger disaster okay so i am sensing for those of you that have dealt with this back in um, march it's done, it's over with, and you know, you know where you stand with people, you know who you shouldn't ally with. For others who are still dealing with this, um, it's gonna happen sometime in April. I do see the um, 7th and the 17th coming out strongly. And then I'm also sensing as well, you know, you have other people that are gonna be there to help you. They're, everything is going to pull together and be a success, okay? So don't worry about it. But you are going to have these elements in your mist that make promises they can't keep. They're, you know, they're, they're kind of like, oh, I'll do it and, you know, ride the, the opportunity. Um, they're there to get, like, the, the publicity and the visibility, but they don't really... Uh, they're not pulling their weight. They're not, you know, contributing their fair share. And you're going to know who they are so that you can avoid them in the future. Okay? So it's coming in as a lesson learned. It needed to happen. It's almost like karmically. It needs to happen. 
so that you can kind of screen them out from your professional contacts in the future and kind of blacklist them. Not that you know you're going to hold grudges against them and badmouth them to everybody. You are a very sensitive sign, and I feel like you know how to be courteous. You know how to play、uh, office politics, and just out of a sense of human decency, you're not going to call them out on it, embarrass them, or you know burn their bridges with other people. You're just not going to allow them to be a professional ally or a professional contact of yours in the future. So it needs to happen, okay? But overall, this trickle down image.、Uh, everybody who is there for the right reason, they're benefiting from it, and it's beautiful. It looks really, really amazing. People coming together, sharing ideas.、Uh, people who are really, really motivated, but also there is a sense of social awareness and social impact. It's like it's. I almost feel like it's a gathering of entrepreneurs who are interested in alleviating, you know, social issues, social problems, who care about other people. So I feel like it's a very, um, um, what is that word? Philanthropic, like、um, endeavor that everyone is involved in, everyone is on the same page about, and everyone is just, you know,、uh, going to benefit from it. So lofty goals, lofty ideals,、um, solidifying and coming together. The second message here, they say an expansion in birth or finance. I feel for some of you,、uh, either there's like maternity leave, paternity leave. You or your partner might be、uh, taking a leave of absence in the work environment if you are expecting, and then、uh, if it's not you, it's your partner, and there's going to be you know this sense of like. Needing to take a break here、uh, from the career front in order to conceive, or dealing with pregnancy while you're at work. Okay, so along with that are the hormonal fluctuations and the changes. Okay, but it looks very good. So if you're not dealing with pregnancy,、um, the Empress in your tenth house basically emphasizes a situation where、uh, you're expanding your territory, you're expanding your Area your your sphere of influence, and I know that phrase. It sounds very you know reminiscent of Cold War ideology, but、um, it came in, and I feel what it basically means overall is、um, allying with other people, so that you can you know have、um, so that you can have a. A backer in them, so that you can have the their support, so that you can expand your geographical location. You can expand your sp-、uh, sphere of influence. Okay, for those of you who are in the marketing sector, this is basically、um, looking at new markets, looking at、um, other areas where you can, you know,、uh, potentially foster a market, foster an industry. Uh, allowing an industry to grow, or they're saying like fostering or subsidizing an infant industry, and then、uh, seeing it grow from the ground up, and then benefiting from it long term. So I feel like it's a nurturing process, and it needs to be you know done in a very patient manner. It's going to take some time before it bears fruit, but you have the patience, and you definitely love to build things from the ground. I feel like for many of you. If you had to、um, choose between coming in from the very, very beginning and 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 building something from the from scratch and from the ground up, you'd rather do that than coming in the middle when it's already past its infancy stage. So I feel that element coming in, where you're kind of you're going to be designing, starting something from the ground up and seeing it kind of grow, seeing it through its life cycle. I feel for many of you, this might take a few years, you know, three, five years, and after that, so you you already anticipate that okay, this is going to require possibly three years of、uh, my time, and so do I have the energy? Can I realistically devote to it right now? And then I also feel for many of you,、uh, this is a new job. Like possibly even like a side gig that you're doing, and there's a commitment of your time. Possibly,、um, I'm seeing here 
three trimesters, three semesters, so it could be like a year and a half even. Um, so that's coming in where you are going to have to decide like, can I really juggle both of these things? Can I do this, commit myself for a year and a half? while maintaining my full-time job so you have some really beautiful things coming through and you have a lot of opportunities coming through but the bottom line is um, people are coming to you and soliciting you to get involved to be a partner to kind of um, you know uh, nurture something and see something grow and to care like to be the caretaker of something because they trust you so um, I'm seeing a very strong reference to France. Okay, so I don't know if um, this is happening for people that are geographically there, but I, I do see here um, France, and I do see as well. Let me see what is the other. For some reason, Thailand. Those imageries are coming up. Those countries in in particular are coming up. So projects possibly in France. Um, and I feel like it's a it's a project that involves growing something and fostering an infant industry So France and Thailand those areas come up very strongly um, Anyways, it looks good in your career sector. We have here the ace of Pentacles and this is usually what I would call like a, a new job Okay uh, For many of you who are and this is like a, a regular nine-to-five job where you are you have a schedule you're working for another person it shows that it has a lot of potential but it seems to me like the salary is a little bit less than what you're expecting if you are in a position where you're just like I want to negotiate definitely negotiate okay don't settle for that first offer negotiate your salary make sure you are being paid what you're worth and honestly um, your energy is really strong for this month cancers so you really need to negotiate and kind of put yourself out there and ask for more and you know not settle for what you for for the the crumbs and the scraps that are left behind so you're in a really good position to let your ideas kind of show and to let your confidence shine okay when it comes to communication we have the chariot in the reverse and this is you stalling this is you feeling that lack of confidence this is you kind of like you know being a little bit timid and, and humble and not really directing yourself in a um, I, I want to say they say in a concerted manner so it, it's almost like your heart and your mind needs to be on the same page okay so you can't for example if there's a job that's offered and you're just like okay I really like the job because you know it's uh, it's it perfectly in alignment with what I want to do and then you look at the salary so your heart's in it and then you look at the salary and you're just like it's paying a little bit less than than I'm expecting so your heart and your mind already are not on the same page and if you look at it the only thing that will allow your heart and your mind to be on the same page is if you negotiate for that salary, right? So the only problem is if you already love the job, but your your mind is not in it because you're anticipating having to cut corners, having to nickel and dime yourself because the salary is less than you expect, then solve that problem, negotiate a higher salary. Your heart and your mind needs to be on the same page here with this chariot in the reverse. It's like inner conflict. It's like dealing with a situation where you're doubting your capabilities and you're like, am I good enough? Can I? It's, it's almost like, do I dare ask for more? Would I be a nuisance to them or would they give me more? And that is really not up for debate for this month. So you need to own up to what you want and you need to demand what you want okay you're in a really good position here to make um, to to negotiate you're really in the in a good position to demand for what you feel you deserve so don't shortchange yourself here cancers um, relationships so I have here the ace of wands and the ace of wands basically um, it's a fire sign okay so this is a Sagittarius an Aries or a Leo 
And、uh, funny thing is, I'm seeing a lot of fire in this spread. The Ace of Wands deals with passion, chemistry,、um, you know, like inspiration. So you are dealing with someone who's very, very inspiring, who's very inspiring to you.、Uh, you both, your. Energetically, I see energies bouncing off each other. There's a lot of attraction because you know, fire and water is a good combination, right? Like it, it, it denotes a lot of attraction. It denotes as well. You're dealing with someone who's really、um, bringing you out of your shell. You know, they, they're, they're fun. They're adventurous. They want to travel, and they're bringing you out of your shell. They're, they're breaking you free from your own. Um, am I good enough? You know, self doubts and you know that 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 Cancerian shell where you retreat to for comfort and for familiarity. So you're dealing with someone who's very dynamic, and I also feel as well because of this、um, really、uh, strong sense of、uh, attraction. And opposites attract type of energy. It can also create a situation where you feel a little bit burnt out by this person. It's too much. They're coming on too strong. They want too much. The demands, you know, this person imposes on you is a little bit too much, and that's fine. But、um, it's Mercury in retrograde. So if that that happens. And you retreat without telling them, "Hey, I need to take a little bit of a break. I'll be gone for a few days. You know, don't worry." If you don't communicate that to them, they're gonna think like the worst has happened. They're gonna think like you've got somebody else. They're gonna think like, "Oh no, why is the cancer person, you, you know, retreating? Are they no longer interested in me? Are they have they found somebody else? Are they cheating on me? Are they lying to me? All of the worst case scenarios. So it's really important to communicate." If you feel burned out, communicate. Okay. Oftentimes, you feel like they should know. You're dealing with a fire sign. Fire signs are not very subtle. They don't really observe the nuances. Okay. So they don't、uh, unless you tell them. You know, you're driving me nuts. Give me a break, or you know, back off, or you know, leave me alone. Unless you are very clear and specific about what you want, they're not going to get it, and you don't have to be mean about it. But you need to communicate, and you need to say it in a way where you mean what you say, and you can't be, you know,、uh, you can't give them mixed messages. You can't just, you know, say things and sugarcoat and try to spare their feelings. It's not going to work if you're dealing with a fire sign. You need to be very, very direct. So, I've seen situations where you guys are. It's like okay, so so example.、Um, you have like three people that are interested in you, right? And you're interested in none of them. Rather than and you know they're coming at you and you know they're interested in you. Rather than telling them, I'm not interested in you. You still agree to have lunch with them, have、uh, coffee with them, and in your mind, it's like it's only lunch and coffee is not a date. But if they like you, they will grasp at every single opportunity to call it a date. You can share like a piece of chocolate with them, and they think it's a date. So the point here is, be very, very direct when you communicate. And you don't need to worry about sparing people's feelings. We're all adults here. We need to learn, and we need to like you know not waste our each other's time and our time. So it's really important to communicate the way that you mean. And if you're dealing with a fire sign, you need to be very clear when you communicate. Otherwise, they're gonna think you know the worst. And、um, their tantrums are. Actually, quite difficult to to handle. So, just a heads up.、Um, on the other end, I'm what I'm feeling here is.、Um, so they they mention here、uh, spot opportunists. Okay, so going off that message, people are going to show their true colors. And Mercury retrograde cycles. I actually、um, I used to hate it when I was younger. But what I've noticed over the years is that、um, 
Mercury retrograde cycles are, it's a notorious time for information to come to light. People that have been lying, people that have been stealing, people that have been doing things kind of uh, under the radar, um, they, they've been doing things they're not supposed to, it's going to come to light. So it's a really, really good time for karma to work itself out. And it's not always, you know, it's, it's difficult, mainly because people that we didn't an, uh, anticipate or secrets that we didn't think would actually uh, come out, they do come out. So everything comes out in the wash. And more importantly, you're going to know how you feel about people and you're going to know where you stand with other people. Okay, you might like somebody. But if the feeling's not mutual, you're gonna know where you feel, um, where you stand with them. You're gonna know how, by virtue of where you stand with them, how they really feel about you. And so it's a good time overall for us to get like a little bit of that reality check. Okay? And so I don't feel that you need to worry about this. What I have here is um, conflict with an earth sign so Taurus Virgo Capricorn somebody that is a little bit um, territorial but the way that they handle conflict is they're very indirect um, it's almost like I want to say a little bit manipulative and a little bit indirect they want what's theirs but rather than saying I want this I'm gonna do this and I think you should do that like you know being direct they're evasive they're kind of manipulative and they are also spinning uh, ideas okay so it's it's uh, it's someone one who's really crafty so you want to be a little bit careful let me see where this is coming in so Taurus Virgo or Capricorn um, Give me one second. The way that this person's energy is showing up here, for those of you who are undergoing some type of a training, some type of a classroom teaching, some type of a seminar, or you're in a situation where you are learning something or teaching something, this is coming out. I'm also feeling this is like a disgruntled ex, disgruntled ex, somebody that you left behind and um, now they're they're kind of uh, resentful they're disgruntled they're resentful okay so they're going to spin a web of lies and you need to be careful and then i'm also feeling as well this is somebody that um i'm seeing i'm seeing like um a business partnership a person that they feel you know like they, they feel like they made a lot of sacrifices to help you get where you are and then they feel like as soon as you got where you are where you are right now uh, they're no longer in the picture and I feel like it's a natural process of falling things falling away or the relationship just went awry but they didn't see it that way so they felt betrayed they felt um, left behind or they felt cast aside and so if that's a misunderstanding you definitely can approach them with it okay but I feel like this is somebody that you're uh, in a learning environment a training environment you're training them they're training you or you both are in some type of a training environment in order to do something very opportunistic and I also want to say as well there's hostility there's resentment here um, the last message here is spot opportunities, okay? So this is opportunities for, especially in the work front, if there are opportunities to negotiate, definitely go for it. Uh, spot opportunities when it comes to your housing situation. Um, I'm sensing they're saying like two houses. So I don't know if you own multiple properties or you are torn between, should I buy this house or that house? Should I rent this one or that one? Um, or like you're you're living in one place and the work is in another place and you're like should I move closer should I move should I stay where I am commute 
or should I move closer? I feel like the answer is somewhere in between. So it's like move closer, but don't live in that same city. That's what I'm, I'm getting here. So opportunities are going to be in abundance around you. Um, work is looking really, really good. Very, very good. And I'm really happy to see this for you guys because I know last year you guys were struggling a bit. And um, you're going to start to, you know, make things happen, make new friends, reach out and have a community of people at your side. OK, so you guys are in a really good space right now where all the people that you've helped in the past. I feel like, you know, karma is being repaid. Karma is being uh, played out. In a, it's coming full circle. But it looks to me like it's good. OK, so it's coming full circle. Things are going to be OK moving forward so the struggle is over um cancers i feel like you know you've got a really bright future ahead of you i would also urge you be direct with your communication okay don't waste other people's time don't send mixed messages and the way we communicate sets the energy the tone and the intentions to allow the right things to come into our lives and i feel last year you guys were very muddled mainly because you're not very clear with your communication so just think of it the way the the things that we say energetically dictates what we don't want and what we want in our life so if somebody is approaching you and they they're like smitten by you and you have no interest in them you need to tell, tell them you know i'm not interested in you that allows them to energetically leave your space so that you can make room for the right people to come into your life. And then on the other hand, if you're with somebody that you're not in love with and you're telling them, I love you and all of that, it's false promises, false in intentions, false energy, and it can really bog you down. So learning from 2016, if you're not feeling it, Kind of push it away okay just like with your thoughts with your words with your intention push it away deny it entry so that you can leave that vacuum for something better to come in being very direct and very concise and very um, honest with our communication i feel is really going to help you guys okay so you're in a good space right now you want to maintain it so be clear and unclouded with your intentions. Um, I'm gonna leave it at that. Cancers, I wish you all the best, okay? Um, I might or might not have time for the mid-month reading. If I don't, I'll see you guys in May, okay? Take care of yourself. I wish you all the best and uh, have a blessed rest of April 2018. Bye-bye.